Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, if you refer to Appendix 4B, mineral royalties alone, the state is required based on the revenue streams. We are getting more than a billion CDs per annum. Mr. Speaker, when you convert the billion CDs per annum into dollars, it's almost $200 million every year for the state. And even in 2016, the minister confirms that we got about $120 million. And so if you are getting about $200 million per annum, what the, why do you want to rush to go and take $500 million? And what they are doing is to mortgage 75.6% of our mineral revenues going forward forever for this so-called Ejapa company. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, the question is, if President Akufuado, Ghana was your company and you were the board chairman, would you bring this document for us to approve? No. Would you bring this document for us to approve? You get $200 million per annum, and you insist that you want to take $500 million and cede $140 million per annum to a so-called SPV. Mr. Speaker, this is unfortunate. And like the learned former Deputy Attorney General said, this transaction is opaque. This transaction does not meet best practices. This transaction is inimical to this country. This transaction is detrimental to the forward march of this country. This is another Ameri in the making. This is another PDS in the making. Mr. Speaker, this agreement, and what are they saying? The, the, the Deputy Minister says that it is not debt. Mr. Speaker, those who understand finance should listen. You go and borrow money or go and take money and say that this is not debt. I've taken 500 million, it's not debt. But every month, when I receive my income, come and take 50% of that money to service that facility. If this is not debt, what is it? Mr. Speaker, but why are we here? That is critical. And the, the, the chairman of the committee says that we need urgent money. Mr. Speaker, when you took over, our debt level was 120 billion. Today, you have confirmed that our debt level is over 250 billion. You have increased our debt by more than 100 billion. And there's nothing to show for it. And just four months to elections, having realized that you are losing the elections, having realized that there's nothing to show for, you want to railroad and rush through a so-called 500 million facility. Mr. Speaker, when I enter this parliament, I swore an oath and I speak on behalf of the minority that we shall do what is good, what is proper and protect the interests of this country. Mr. Speaker, the minority side, we are patriots. We believe in Ghana. We believe in the right thing. We will not be part of an illegality today, tomorrow, the day before tomorrow or forever. Mr. Speaker, indeed, we wash our hands clearly. Clearly. Mr. Speaker, this agreement or transaction is repugnant to Article 106, Clause 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Mr. Speaker, we will not be part of this agreement. Mr. Speaker, today is a very sad day indeed. I cannot believe, I cannot believe that this government can bring such an agreement for us to approve. But let me send a word of caution. And let me state that today is the Friday, the 14th of August 2020 in the year of our Lord that a future NDC government will not honor this agreement. Mr. Speaker, I want to state on authority to the investors that if you invest in this illegality, you will be throwing your money away. Because God willing, on the 7th of January, by the grace of the Almighty, 
Mr. Speaker, and I mean by the 7th of January, yes. by the death of the Almighty Allah, we will be on the other side of this chamber. And when we are dead, all those who are perpetrating this, you shall be held to accountable, you shall be held liable, and you will have answer for your deeds. Mr. Speaker, in conclusion, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, in conclusion, I want to end with a quote. I want to end with a quote. And this is my favorite quote. And let the world listen today. There is a quote that states, and I quote, that the world, that the world, Mr. Speaker, that the world, I want them to be quiet. The world suffers a lot, not because of the violence of the bad people, but because of the silence of the good people. We are the good people in this chamber. We will not be part of it today. We will not be part of it tomorrow. And we shall amend this come 2024.